Hey everybody, Tony here from Tony'sHealthTips.org and I'm back at the grocery store. This time I'm in the vitamin and supplement aisle and I'm here with one of the more popular children's vitamins of all time. Uh, heavily marketed, everybody knows that motto, 10 million strong and growing. And it's funny, if you go on the this company's website, if you go on Bayer's website um, and you look into this product, they have some frequently asked questions. And one of the questions is, um, is aspartame safe? Because they brag about using aspartame in their products. And they say, yes, aspartame is safe. In in fact, it's one of the more studied chemicals out there that are in our food and, and supplements. And this makes me laugh because they're actually citing the frequency of the studies as evidence that the chemical is actually helpful and not harmful and isn't causing harm. But if the studies, you know, if they did 10 studies in a row and they all came up roses, they wouldn't keep studying it. The reason that they study it so many times that it's one of the more studied chemicals is because it's so controversial and there is so much evidence suggesting that it's controversial. You know, this be like me saying uh, I'm the best husband in the world because I've been married the most amount of times the logic there just doesn't make sense okay so again Flintstones brags that they use aspartame a funny thing happened though I went into the store and I looked on the ingredients there's no aspartame in here folks so they appear to have taken it out of their product and not updated their website this is this specific product that they say that it is in and again it's not um, it's not what I'm looking at this here so they may have taken it out we kind of caught them in a lie though on the website they say, we can't use sugar in our product because the pills would be too big, so we have to use aspartame. The pills are the same size, folks, and you're gonna see sugar on those ingredients there, which kind of cracks me up. So they just had a bold face lie on their website. What you need to know about this company though, Bayer, okay, they have a rich history of unethical behavior, going back to Nazi Germany, believe it or not. So Bayer is actually the result of IG Farben being liquidated after World War II. IG Farben, largest chemical company in Germany at the time, um, they were liquidated and actually found guilty of war crimes. The company was during the Nuremberg trials. This is all a matter of public record during the Nuremberg trials. Um, IG Farben was the number two financer um, of Hitler's campaign as he led up to his election. Okay, that company was found guilty of war crimes. They made uh, Zyklon B, you know, the, the, the gas that exterminated the Jews during uh, World War II. Um, that company, so unethical, actually liquidated. Um, and Bayer is one of the American companies, or uh, one of the companies that has resulted from it that's heavily influential in America. Um, and, it, you know, it's one thing to say, like, oh, my great, great, great grandfather was a slave owner. That doesn't mean I'm a bad person. And so just because Bayer has Nazi links doesn't mean that they're an unethical company necessarily, but they continue that unethical behavior. In fact, there's uh, a video that I'm going to post. If you're watching this on Facebook, I'm going to post it to the comments section. You're not going to believe it. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's so unbelievably unethical what Bayer did in the 80s. I fear you're not going to believe me and I'm going to lose credibility. That's how crazy it is. I'm not going to get into it on this video. You got to look into it on your own. If you're watching this video on Tony'sHealthTips.org, uh, underneath the picture that you clicked to get to this video, I'm going to have a link with some more information about what Bayer did in the 80s. Um, but again, I'm getting a little bit off subject here. So one of the things that you should consider is whether or not you really want to have a vitamin that's main, made by a pharmaceutical manufacturer, okay? Now, there's sucralose in this, okay? There is definitely sucralose in this product, okay? Sucralose, we know, um, all artificial sweeteners really, um, are linked to potentially causing diabetes. Guess what? Bayer makes a diabetes medication. Interesting. Aspartame, the chemical that I mentioned before, had that Bayer used heavily in the Flintstone vitamins up until maybe recently. 92 proven side effects. Uh, I shouldn't say proven. 92 side effects that were submitted to the FDA in 1995 by another government organization. Um, of those side effects, uh, over a thousand, I've got some notes here. How many do we have here? 1,847 complaints of headaches as a result of aspartame in 1995. Of course, Bayer makes popular headache medication. Um, what do we have here? Oh, Alka-Seltzer, right? Uh, used to treat flu symptoms, also a Bayer product. Well, what do you know? Aspartame had 647 cases of vomit and nausea. Sounds like flu-like symptoms to me. And 330 cases of diarrhea were submitted as potential side effects of aspartame. So we have these companies that actually profit when we get sick making vitamins that are supposedly 
going to stop us from being sick. There's definitely a conflict of interest there. So make sure you know who's manufacturing your vitamin, your vitamin companies. All the big ones that are heavily advertised are made by drug companies. Centrum, made by Pfizer. What do we got here? One a day, made by Bayer. And then we've got like the generic spinoffs. So this is Equiline. It's like the generic version of one a day and it has very similar ingredients in it. In fact, if you take a look at this, this is the generic Flintstone vitamins. There's even a dinosaur on this. And you're gonna see right here, right above my thumb here, you're gonna see aspartame is the ingredient used in this. So it may not be used in the Flintstone vitamins anymore, but it's still used right here in these. So again, you know, if you're giving your children these products, oh gosh, I didn't even talk about the food dyes. Oh my gosh, oh boy. The food dyes, go to tonyshealthtips.org. You're gonna see the food dyes are linked to cancer. You're gonna see that food dyes are linked to ADHD. You're gonna see that food dyes are linked to hyperactivity. That's the big one. That's the most convincing, scientifically compelling one that, that food dyes are linked to hyperactivity. Um, and then what do you see here in the ingredients? We've got blue number two. Hopefully you can see that. We've got red 40 and we've got yellow six, okay? So we've got a concoction here. We've got a constellation of toxins in this product right here, but it's supposedly a health product to make your kids healthier. Well, it might be making your kids more hyperactive and it might be uh, having an ingredient in it that has 92 side effects. So let me make sure I didn't miss any of the side effects. Oh yeah, by the way, Bayer um, also has a blood pressure uh, pill called Adalat, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and you guessed it, aspartame is linked to blood pressure. Um, Nexavar and Stavarga are the two cancer medications, and again, aspartame was uh, a huge cancer concern in the early 80s, enough so that the FDA said, we can't put this on the market. There are too, there's too much evidence linking aspartame to cancer. Now it's in almost all of our diet foods. If you know someone who drinks diet soda and gets headaches when they're not drinking their diet soda, that's aspartame toxicity, okay? That's the link between aspartame and headaches that we're talking about. And again, Bayer loved to use the aspartame for a long time and apparently has stopped recently. Um, and Bayer also sells the headache medication. Huge conflict of interest, something to look out for. Know who produces your vitamins and make sure there's not a bunch of crap in it. Remember, you've only got one body. You gotta take care of it. Have a good one, everybody.